is ready. I died a lot last episode. Next time, triple play. I mean, sorry. Welcome back, triple play. On next. last week's episode, I we discussed lot. politics. On last week's episode, Bill triple Cosby. Play. How no, 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 to say Numa Numa, Numa. Numa. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And the next season of Arrested Development. Hey, Bill Cosby. What do you think about Pokemon? All the Pokemans, all the kids love playing the Pokemans. And they get the Charizard, and he's the hardest card to find. He's got a holographic. And you go and you find your friend who has the Charizard card, and you go up and you ask him, you say, Hey, I want to trade you my water energy card for your your, 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 your Charizard, and you go. <laughs> and then your friend with the other card tells you to go fuck yourself because you can't. Your water energy is not equivalent to the value of the Charizard. How did you get bored of that, Sam? How? Isn't he so good? At it? And I believe that I believe the first edition Charizard holographic card is still the most valuable Pokemon <laughs> card on the market to date. So if you have any pre-release or first edition, send it to our PO box. Please do. <laughs> Just I would greatly appreciate it and a, and a nice Jello pudding pop. <laughs> Put that in there with the snack pack and the real fruit juice. Make put it in the freezer. <laughs> and take it. <laughs> And, uh, and I, oh god, I can't. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> my, oh. my whole life has become nothing more but an endorsement for Coke and Jello. <laughs> and Pokemon, apparently. Did he I do a Pokemon commercial? He did. Oh, did okay. a Pokemon commercial? Because yeah. I know I've heard a reference about him and Pokemon. I wanted to oh god, Anthony, you do like, the best impression of that <laughs> of all, all time. I can do Rolf from Meta Netty. Rolf? Because everybody knows Oh, Adam. the Rolf? Rolf from Ed and Ned. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, Rolf. Ed boys. Yeah, exactly. Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Sam. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Ronith has broken his back to dig you these new mud pits. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty good, too. Who's <laughs> alone with Ralph? Doesn't he have, like, a chicken? He has, like, a chicken, right? Well, he has, he's got, like, a goat. He's got, like, a bunch of, like, He's got a lot of animals. animals. Yeah. And then there's an episode where he's grinding some sausages, and they knock him into the, the sausage grinder. And he falls out and he's a giant saucy. He goes like, I am a wiener! <laughs> oh my god. I love Rolf. Rolf, Rolf, is, so Rolf is my favorite character talented. in that show. Rolf is so talented. No, we're all so talented. We all have uh, so many voices. It's like a fucking sketch show over here. Oh man. I used to do a spot on impression of a guy who I used to work with. But nobody knows him, so that doesn't <laughs> really, Not even really matter yeah. at all. <laughs> hey guys, you remember Bob Ross? Yeah, the yeah that was the guy you worked with, right? Bob yeah, Ross. you worked yeah, with yeah. his famous television Do you want to hear my Bob, Bob Ross, Ross impression? Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Bob Ross. That sounds like Bob it's Ross cool, if he was, guys. like, really high. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, okay, I don't know what he sounds no, like. It sounds like this. Let's keep going nice. Come on, young man. Uh, hey, hello. guys. Today we're going to be painting some... Actually, we can I have to all get really do. close to the mic like this in order for you to hear me, but... Today, we're going to be painting some happy trees and uh, a, 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 nice a, cool a, a, a nice, refreshing blue river. <laughs> That's my through... favorite video ever, <laughs> the nice, cool, refreshing river. I fucking love that video. And you can just, you can just do whatever you want. You just, you just you take your, your canvas, and you get a little bit of nice, get a nice little light blue, and we just make a couple of, uh, a couple of little smooth strokes running down. Ooh, and then you see that, we'll, we'll couple of put, get, grab some of our forest green. We'll dab a little bit out on that on the canvas there. We'll we'll go up there and look at those trees. Those trees are those trees are happy trees. Those are those are good trees. Good trees. Then we're gonna make some mountains. We're gonna make some purple mountains. Purple mountains majesty in the background there. We're just gonna <laughs> now do Howard Stern. Do Howard Stern. Hey everyone, welcome to radio. We we'll like we we'll like you show your tits. Hey, good Howard Stern. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I love Howard Stern. Tits. His movie is really good. I like Private it. Parts. Private parts. Parts. Yeah, I really like the part where he's like, where he's, where he's playing himself as like a, a college student. He's like, he's like, all right, I know I'm a little old to be a college student, but use some suspension of disbelief. That's. I know I'm a little old to be a college student. No, that's not. No, it's not him at all. You sound like you sound like. He's got like a like a New York accent. What's the deal with Seinfeld? What's the deal? What's the deal with uh, uh, the peanuts on the airplane? 
You get the peanuts, but then you can't eat them! You got the peanuts, and the packet's so small. Hey, yeah. kids, what's the deal with homework? You're not working on your home. Boo! <laughs> that's actually from an episode. Of that. Family guy, right? No, no, that's actually from an episode of Seinfeld. Seinfeld. <laughs> where, yeah, he's, okay, the, it's the episode where he, um, he has to, he has to, some, like, his agent books him a three hour, or like a two hour, or an hour, uh, a really long set. An, an hour talk with like a oh with God. a college or something or students. Oh, he doesn't like, know like what a, to do. A He's, commencement speech or something. I don't know. So he, he works out like a twenty minute bit about homework. How homework stinks. So George is gonna get him some baseball player, but the baseball player falls through. Um, oh, silly George. Yeah, and so then Jerry's got nothing, and so then he goes out and stages says, "Hey kids, what's what's the deal with homework? You're not working on your home," and everyone's just like, "Boo!" It's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie though, for, for a sitcom show, because I've watched I've watched like how much of other stuff is all about ending so bad and everything like that. Seinfeld had probably one of the coolest endings to a sitcom. I won't, I won't oh, yeah. spoil it, but if you guys, I, I mean, it's so fucking old now. If you haven't seen it now. Yeah, but, who hasn't seen Seinfeld? But the place? ending to Seinfeld is like so perfect. Yeah, it's it's very like it's very pessimistic. Yeah, it's well, it's just so it's just so like even my mother who watched the entire show maybe twice. Like, felt it was just so perfect, and she yeah. hated it. She hates every ending to every show. Mm -hmm. She thought she, and I agree with her. It was just so, it was just so relaxing. It was like, oh, that's what they, that's what, that's what they deserve. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, again, I don't want to spoil it, but they got what they deserved. Hey, how about that lost ending, huh? Okay. Whoa, let's well, get some don't, controversy don't there. That, no. yeah. Or even more so, what about that Sopranos? Oh! 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 <laughs> hey, how about that Freaks and Geeks ending? Aww. Oh, Judd Apatow. <laughs> oh, that's depressing! <laughs> I know. Rip that pepperoni, dude. I know. Watching <laughs> Freaks and Geeks. I, I, okay, I watched it. Pepperoni. Rip and pepperoni. Rip and rip pepperoni. And rest in peace in pepperoni. Uh, mm -hmm. You're supposed to say rip in peace. Rip the rest in peace in peace. But when I, I watched... Freaks and Geeks the first time like a couple years ago and it, it, that was so Isn't depressing. that where fucking like 90% of Hollywood stars started? Freaks and Geeks? Like, uh, if they're, if 90% like of the Hollywood stars <laughs> are <laughs> James Franco, <laughs> yeah. Seth Rogen, and basically those two guys, yes. No, Actually, Marlon, Marlon, Marlon Brando was also yeah, Marlon, Marlon, Brando. Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando, Robert <laughs> Downey Jr., uh, Robert De Niro. Of, a lot of people started on that show. Oh, not started, wait, wait. but at least were on the show. Marlon Brando Meryl Streep or Marlon was on it. Brando? Mar the fucking Godfather. Yeah, Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. He was on that show. Stella! Yeah, yeah that, he was, was? That, was, that was from Freaks and Geeks. Yeah, he was on Freaks and Geeks yeah. for an episode. Before um, he died? Before he died, yeah. 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 Dude. He was old as fuck! <laughs> and, and cranky, apparently, according Who to my, else did you say my, my, my grandfather. Um, uh, Douglas Fairbanks was in that. Wasn't Robert Redford or was it Happy Robert, Days? No, but the, Robert Redford was in No, you don't understand. Like yeah. those, those, he was in both? Yeah, he, he was, was in both. He was in both. Sam, both. You're, you're naming already established actors who were in Freaks and Geeks. I'm saying, like, when Freaks and Geeks came out, like, the people who were like, oh, who's that? Oh, I don't know, but he's funny. Oh, that's Seth Rogen and fucking James, James fucking Franco. You know who else was in it? Lucille Ball was in an episode of Freaks and Geeks. Yeah, but that's you know what? she you got know, her career started. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lucille Ball was like 80 when that show came out, wasn't she? She's like 90 now, right? That, that's... Sarcasm. Oh. Obvious sarcasm is obvious. <laughs> oh, I didn't know sarcasm. <laughs> Wait, did you really think that Mar... You, you were no, talking that you about were... Marlon Brando, right? No, Marlon Brando was really in the show, wasn't he? Dear God. No! <laughs> On next week's episode... <laughs> Should we cut the episode there? Should we cut short just because yeah, how fucking stupid this, this show is? Embarrassing. I like, like Marlon Brando. Like you just like slip that by me and be like, oh yeah, Marlon Brando. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. no idea. <laughs> Marlon Brando. I have never watched Freaks and Geeks. But you knew Stella. Because I know Marlon no, Brando. Know Marlon Brando. He doesn't know you knew Streetcar Named Desire, but yeah. you didn't know. Because <laughs> I know Marlon Brando. I had but no you, you spoke like you had like so much. You were so confident. No. Yeah, Marlon Brando. He was no, on I didn't. for an episode. I, no, I, yeah, I was like, you fucking oh. I will run it back. Yeah, Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. He was on that show. Stella! Yeah, that was, was? That, was, that was from Freaks and Geeks. Yeah, he was on Freaks and Geeks for an episode. Well, I feel like my energy's been drained right now. I feel like that was. I feel like that was eventful. I think we're gonna do it next time. We all, yeah. need, we all need to take a shower together. Woo! All right. Yeah, that's something we do after every episode. Yeah. So Destiny, man. Let's. <laughs> Oh yeah, what, what are, we playing? are we still playing Destiny? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get us to the moon. I need one more level, so maybe maybe <laughs> to we'll, the moon. So maybe for the last episode we do, maybe we'll go to the moon. 